everyone, welcome back to the channel. Guess who's back? 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 I created a monster. If somebody wants to see Marcel no more, they want Shady. I'll drop them. This is what I'll give you. Look at all these strawberries I have. Look how big this bowl is. We're gonna make a strawberry cake. And yes, we are. Okay, but first, we're going to cut. We probably need probably about a pound for these strawberries. These are the ones that are going in the cake. Want enough strawberries that's gonna go in this pan? You're gonna layer it twice. So I don't know, maybe like more than half a pound. I'm not sure. Use your best judgment. Okay, and now we're going for the cake part. We're going to use two large eggs. I'm going to whisk these for a little bit. And then I'm going to add my sugar and we're going to mix this until it is a thick and light consistency, okay? sour cream to our which is one cup and I'm using the daisy sour cream it didn't say if it mattered or not if you know in some recipes it does matter especially when it comes to baking Now that we have our sour cream, we need our one cup of oil. <coughs> Excuse me. You either can use olive oil or vegetable oil. I didn't want to use all my olive oil, so I put vegetable oil in there. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Sorry, I had to go open another bottle because I'm always prepared. Okay. Okay, now we're going to mix all this together. Okay, now we're going to 
gonna set that aside and do our dry ingredients, which is two cups of flour. I have right here, like that. And then we're gonna do our baking powder, which is two teaspoons of baking powder. There's one, two, and then also we will need one fourth teaspoon of salt. One fourth teaspoon of salt. Now we're just gonna whisk these together, or you can swift them together whichever you prefer for preheat your oven to 375 I forgot to do that okay now for the fun part what we're gonna do You guys, ooh. We're gonna add a little bit of this at a time. spray this thing okay really really good I've never made one of these cakes before so or like used one of these pans so I really don't know what to expect Let me wash this. Okay, so we're gonna half this. I'm just going to kind of even this out a little bit. Now, our strawberries that we have. This is the fun part.
the rest of this. Did another layer, and now I'm just gonna pour the rest of this in here. Okay, here it is. My first bunk cake attempt. Let's see if it get, does a good job. Okay, so 375, it says 50 minutes, but I'm gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna check it at 30 minutes, um, because it's a different pan than what the recipe says, and you know, baking, you gotta just keep checking it. So I'm gonna check it at 30, minutes okay let me give you guys there it is now i put a lot more strawberries down here but you don't have to put them right here either i just did that just because i wanted to okay now we're gonna make the strawberry uh drizzle okay you're gonna need your oh hold on a second strawberries in here. You need one pound of strawberries. Okay, there we go. I figured it out. I've never used this thing before, so how was I supposed to know? <laughs> Egg. And then we got our sugar. I'm going to puree this. We're going with plan B because <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with that thing. So this may take a little bit longer, but you're going to just puree this. <laughs> okay. And here is the consistency about like what you're going to need. i got to find a bowl. I don't have one. So, <clears throat> with our strawberry drizzle, So since this is the only thing I can find right now, this is delicious. I'm just gonna pour it in here. Okay, and that's how you make strawberry drizzle. Now, I would have liked it a little bit more of a thinner consistency, but hey, got to update my tools here. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, here's the cake when it is done. It's pretty, huh? And just let it cool and then we'll put that. Then we're gonna make um, a different uh, cream cheese drizzle to go with the strawberry drizzle. Okay, it's cooled down now. So I'm gonna try to transfer this. our powdered sugar for shakers. Please be perfect. Oh yeah yeah hold on hold on hold on wait 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 see me rolling <laughs> You see me spinning, trying to catch me spinning dirty. I'm just kidding. All right, now let's make this cream cheese uh, drizzle for the top. And then we'll, because um, we already have the strawberry drizzle done. I don't know. I may put this on the other side now because I'm going to just drizzle that stuff. Okay. Okay, we're going to whisk this until it's smooth. The cream cheese is just like maybe less than a half. Okay, that's real. I guess that's creamy enough. Maybe. I don't know. I may make it creamier. Hold on. I mean, just look how pretty that is. But the inside, there's Boomy. We're going to put a teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon. is if we fold it in first. You know what I mean? I probably put a little bit too much in there. Okay, we got that mix. Now I'm going to add some of that strawberry puree in here that I made. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the puree. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time because we can add two, but we can't take away. You know what I mean? And we want it to be like a drizzle, but kind of like a thick drizzle. Does that make sense? Okay. consistency that you want it. I just showed you how to make a 
strawberry cream tree cream trees cream cheese drizzle <clears throat> heck yeah <laughs> i didn't even know i was creating my own creation <laughs> oh, sometimes it'll sneak up on you like that and hurt it come on all right now now I transfer it in here. Okay. Here we go. We're going to drizzle this on top. There it is, my friends. Okay, let's cut the cake. do before I pick that up because I want to put a little bit of the strawberry drizzle right here on this plate Dang Grady Spirit. Well, there goes the cool design, but. <laughs> Here's the inside of the oat cake. Okay, here's my piece. And because I've got that little greedy spirit, we're just gonna pour a little bit. I'm trying to make it look cool, but it's not really working out too well for me here. Y'all get the hint. My, I curled my hair right here. You should probably do a thumbnail. I can't still hear this.
that's delicious. If you guys would like to see more content of me, you can go to Instagram and Facebook. Everything else that you need will be down in the description box below. And as we always say, you guys, what do we always say? Kissy, kissy, boo-boo. God loves you. Peace out.